Hi folks, this is all the fruit in the little village of Taganana in the Montes de Anaga on Tenerife. Has some of the most impressive dragon trees anywhere in the world. Well, this is not that surprising since you can still find wild dragon trees on the cliffs surrounding the village. From here I'm seeing at least three Unfortunately, I cannot show you that well because, well, my phone is not so good, but here is one. Hmm. Up here is another one. And the third one is on this gigantic cliff here. There are more on the cliffs, but eh. as I said, my, my phone is not good enough. So it's not surprising that a couple of them also ended up in the village. Beautiful village those, Araga villages, they are basically like living museums. You have, you have whole neighborhoods without roads where you just climb little cobblestone paths. You have old people still working their gardens, actually here behind me you can hear one. And another one down here with a more modern tool. And yeah, they are all dragon trees. I don't know if those germinated by accident that were protected by the people from the hungry goats and from logging, or if those were planted centuries ago as ornamentals. But down there you can see another old one. Here is one which I'll try to reach in a moment. There at least it doesn't. Well, I don't know if it doesn't. Half a dozen to a dozen really impressive dragon trees in the village of Tagararet. I think this one is the most impressive one. Look at the size of this one. At the base, it's well over one and a half meters thick. Branches into countless little branches. Look at that beautiful, 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 beautiful. Well, since the bark of those trees is quite soft, of course, it has a big wood here where the, where the soft flesh is showing, the bark is quite gentle. Here a lot of dragon blood. I will not rip it off this time. You can basically chew it as a chewing gum. It makes your teeth blood red and is supposed to kill tooth parasites. Here are those aerial roots. Somebody has even cut off one of those aerial roots, I don't know why. Well, when I said this is the living museum, look, here are still some, here are still some water pipes made of pine wood. Where do you see this in Europe in the 21st century? Well, in this case, I might even try to climb the tree because it's even a little ecosystem for a lot of different plants. Look at that. Here is a little tree sorrel. This is a sorrel that turns into a shrub or even a small tree. An aeonium. Forgot the name of this rubiaceae. And there are even several young dragon trees growing on top of this tree. Look at it. This is no branch. This is a young tree growing on top of the old one. Yeah, let me, let me climb it. I think, I think I've never climbed a dragon tree in a video. I'm very careful, I'm not gonna harm it. Look at that down here, the little dragon tree is growing on top of the big dragon tree. Here, another one of this rubiaceae. Here, a Kleinia, another rubiaceae. <laughs> and the second little dragon tree is growing here. Amazing. I'm like in a giant nest. Giant nest for a flying dinosaur around me. The branching stems are going about five meters above me. In the center, there is a hole. Beautiful, so beautiful. Here you can see old branches which have been either chopped off or they fallen off. I think maybe the all the ones pointing towards the middle. Maybe they died from 
being overshadowed by the other ones. Beautiful. Now let me go back down and try to show you the second oldest dragon tree in the village. So don't. Don't click away yet because well it's good that those trees are still vital enough to produce young ones here are the roots of this old one and down here I see two little ones over there I see a whole group of little ones this abandoned house here it seems like it's being taken over by the by combination of natural and and foreign vegetation and here is the second one I think this is the second oldest dragon tree of Taganana there might be older ones but those are the two oldest ones I know look at it beautiful this one is branched into three or four main branches not like the other one branched into multiple ones a lot more roots beautiful we'll go a little bit back so that i can show you the old tree those are most probably the most iconic trees in all of the Canary Islands. They are native to Tenerife. Amazing, beautiful. Why is somebody cutting off a couple of those roots? Doesn't seem to make any sense. Also, really beautiful, this abandoned house here. Here above me, the other old tree. Maybe the owners of this house like 200 years ago so like dragon trees because not everybody would have protected them back then beautiful the stem is like the it's like a rock basically it's not really like a tree but like a rock mm. amazing just amazing i'm so humbled by seeing those beautiful trees so folks those were the ancient dragon trees of taganana in the anaga mountains stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of tenerife if you want to see hundreds more fruit videos from the beautiful island of tenerife check out my my canary islands playlist and of course don't forget to like share comment and subscribe